Hi, I'm Cab Cabernet, lifestyle connoisseur, and I need therapy. These are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur. Lifestyle connoisseur. These are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur. These are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur. I'm pretty sure you never felt this kind. Now, when I say I need therapy, understand that I'm a genius. And uh, yes, it's okay for me to state that I'm a genius because uh, many people have stated that fact already over, over the years. And so I think I, it's okay for me to know myself and agree with them uh, but every every genius that I've ever met in any any facet or form has suffered from some type of emotional or mental uh, confusion or trauma or has been in need of therapy uh, due to all the greatness going on in their mind. Sometimes it gets confusing and, 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 and there's just too much at, at one time. Um, nobody understands the creative genius except the creative genius. Um, Miles Davis once said, if everybody understood me, they'd be me, right? And there's a lot of truth to that statement. But um, therapy, you know, we all need therapy at some point. Um, from the richest to the the poorest of us. Right now, I'm receiving my therapy. Early morning walk in the park, serenity, peace, tranquility. The birds are chirping. I know you can hear them, they're singing. They're singing to me. It feels like they're singing to me. A cigar, a cup of coffee, that's my therapy. And um, this allows me to think. This allows me to, to um, be at one with the universe and 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 with my and within my own world and my own head my own spirit without any outside interference and um i can think uh clearly and cohesively and um you know if there was something that i was confused about yesterday or lately or whenever I can I can work that out with myself I believe we all have at least two personalities you know um, I know I do so I'm able to talk to the other spirit within me um, and, and 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 talk about our, our, our shit work our shit out I remember um years ago uh, this is quick 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 walk down memory lane Years ago, in my 20s, you know, I'm sorry, um, my late teens actually, I signed a, a major recording contract with a major label. I've actually never told this exact story. Um, but uh, I was in, uh, you know, I moved to um, downtown Manhattan, Gramercy Park area, um, had some money in the bank, was working on, you know, ghostwriting for gold and platinum artists at the time um life was life was new and it was good and it was everything i dreamed about since i was you know i was blessed to know what i wanted to you know who i wanted to be at a very young age i was probably 10 years old but um at night 18 19 i realized that that dream and signed this deal and um life changed immediately and um moved into this luxury apartment Gramercy Park at the time the rent was like incredibly high for that time <laughs> but now it's like nothing it's normal but my girl she wanted a she wanted a you know the doorman and the, the leather sofas in the in the in the lobby and all that kind of business the, the terrace so we did that um you know, but uh, she wasn't right for me, you know what I'm saying? And, and we weren't right for each other. And so 
couple years passed by, she dipped, you know, um, and left the apartment, basically. And um, I was I was so fucked up at that time in my mind that I forgot who I was, and I didn't realize I needed therapy, and I didn't know how to find it. I was too young to understand who I was and and, and, and what I needed. And so I'm in this luxury one bedroom, Gramercy Park, expensive as hell, you know, um, late 90s, and got money in the bank, but I'm so fucked up in the head that I don't want to be in this apartment alone. Uh, I began wandering the streets, sleeping on park benches, trains, bugging out like straight bugging out. I would take showers at, you know, friends' houses or whatever. And um, they just thought I was bugging, you know what I'm saying? Um, I used to sleep in the, in, in the Washington Square Park, actually, and I got cool with some of the homeless people there. And um, I would buy them lunch every day, and, you know, they took a, a, a liking to me, not just because I was feeding them, because I actually was take the time to talk to them and they, and they knew I had some type of, you know, money, even though they seen me every day and didn't know what I was doing. But I remember one day, um, one, of the, one of the older brothers, you know, he used to drop a lot of gems. This brother used to, he used to own a cleaners. And, uh, you know, he, he was like, you know, he made a million dollars, but he gave it all up, you know, because of, his, you know, his 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 inability to find his peace or or mental stability or therapy, right? And he told me, he said, man, listen, every day when I wake up here, I hope I don't see you out here. And I'm like, well, I thought that was, you know, I understand. I was like, what do you mean? What I do to you? He was like, no. You ain't do nothing to me. It's what you're doing to yourself. So you ain't supposed to be out here, man. You know, you got your whole life ahead of you, man. You you need to go, you need to get back in touch with who you are, man. Like, who are, who, who you are. You know, you're, you're a beautiful, bright young man, man. You know, and you need to go out and live your life. I lived my life already, he said. You need to go live your life and be who you, you, you're supposed to be. And when I really stepped back and thought about that, it um it kinda it kinda you know, I snapped out of it, man. You know what I mean? I went and sought therapy uh from from a shrink. But that didn't really help because she ended up taking advantage of me and you know, uh we ended up having an affair. So she couldn't really help me. But what she did help me with is, you know, just putting me, setting me straight in my mind. Like, you know, you don't need to be here. What are you doing here? You don't need to be here. There's nothing wrong with you except you. You're in your own way. Get out of your own way. So I say all that to say this, uh, brothers and sisters. Don't get lost in your own mind. You know what I mean? Like, get therapy. And, um... It's very important to remember who you are. This is Mr. Cab Cabernet, Lifestyle Connoisseur, and these are Confessions of a Lifestyle Connoisseur. Lifestyle Connoisseur, these are Confessions of a Lifestyle Connoisseur, these are Confessions of a Lifestyle Connoisseur, I'm pretty sure you never felt this kind of...